And in today's video guys, I'm about to show you the best game user settings here in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 in order for you to get the highest FPS possible on your PC. I'm first of all going to show you all the best configs which you have to apply which is directly in your game user settings file and then as well also the best in-game settings so that you really have the highest FPS and the biggest competitive advantage. So guys, and what you want to do in the first place now is go into your Windows search bar and type in that percenter temp percenter to open up the first file. Once we're in here, we're going to click on the local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game, open it up, go into to save then we have in you know, a bunch of folders and we want to click actually on config in here now we have again crash report windows client this is the one which we want to select and there we now already have our game user settings but before we enter guys always make sure to go into properties and make sure that the attribute read only is not checked because if it's checked as it already says you can only read the file you can actually change values in there so always make sure this is unchecked and then we can open it up once we know in the game user settings guys we have a bunch of settings in here which we need to change so therefore make sure to follow me the first few settings which we want to disable or basically also enable our B motion blur. This one we want to put to false, guys. You don't want motion blur in Fortnite. B show grass you also want to put to false. This is basically an extra setting to make the game even less detailed. Then we have B show FPS. This one is also really important, so you can always check obviously your FPS in the game itself. B use GPU crash debugging, guys. This one should be on false 100%. If you have this enabled, you're actually always sending a benchmark basically to Epic Games, so therefore make sure this one is on false. Then next up, guys, we have B latency tweak one. This one we want to put to false and latency tweak two to one. Then once we scroll down a little bit more, guys, we have now here DLSS quality. This one we want to put to zero. And then we here now have a bunch of graphics options, guys. And you want to make sure that you copy all of mine here. Desired global illumination quality, you want to put to one. Desired reflection quality to one. These basically disable it. Then the next two guys, you're both going to put on zero. So we also have the lowest quality available. Ray tracing to false, of course. Next up, we have display gamma. This one, guys, I always have on 2.7 and then I have five zeros behind it. This is the display gamma which I use. This is personal preference but for me in my opinion this looks the best. Then user interface contrast I have on the default one which is one with six zeros until we can actually find you now B disable mouse acceleration and this one guys you're gonna put to true. This is every fortnight season the game automatically puts it back to fourth because you don't want mouse acceleration. It's gonna make your mouse feel unprecise. Next up we can see B allow full game download. This one we're going to put to false and as well B allow cellular download. This one also to false. Then we also have the feature now B allow download high res MIPS. This one we're going to put to false as well and content quality level selected to unset so that we actually can use custom settings. Then next up guys we have the low input latency mode is enabled and this one of course we want to put to true. Then we have B use VSync and this one really only makes sense if you're playing on 60 or 75 hertz. Other than that you really shouldn't be utilizing VSync. And then of course for your resolution sizes X and Y guys I have a full on video about the top 5 best resolutions for comp. Make sure you check it out afterwards. Then also guys last confirmed full screen mode on zero and preferred full screen mode on zero as well so we have full screen for less input delay then the audio quality level i have set to one guys because we all know if you actually have your audio level on high this is gonna cause stutter in fortnite now guys to the frame rate limit usually if you are running anything above let's just say 75 hertz like 120 144 165 240 hertz and going on you always have to go exactly three fps underneath your maximum refresh rate for me since i'm playing on a 360 hertz monitor i'm gonna put it to 357. This helps the Unreal Engine with syncing the picture, resulting in less latency. Here now guys, under desired screen width and height, you basically have to put in exactly the native resolution of your monitor. For me, it's 1920x1080, so that your stretch res doesn't mess up. Then we also have B use HDR display output. This one has to be on force, guys. HDR is basically a color enhancement mode, guys, but it's actually pretty hardware demanding, so therefore I have it on false. The same as well with the display output on HDR. This one is set to the basic one, which is 1000. Now guys, next up we have ray tracing. Of course, this one is on false right now since I'm playing on the performance mode. And now for the scalability groups, guys, you want to make sure that you copy all of my settings. Anything except resolution quality is set to the lowest possible in the game. This one, you can kind of experiment around between, I would say like 70 to 100% to really squeeze out the maximum performance out of your system. But 70 is really the lowest I would go because other than that, your game is gonna look like Lego before the event even started. Now for chat settings, guys, you also want to make sure to disable as many as you can. These are all processes running in the background. So therefore, just simply make sure that you copy all of my settings guys i kind of put it to what i do believe is kind of important to have turned on and what you can actually
actually easily turn off. So therefore, this again, personal preference, but yeah. But these are basically the settings which I'm playing with already since like three chapters at this point. And D3 DHR preference, of course, to DirectX 11, since I'm using the performance mode, which was running on DirectX 11. And with that said, we're already done here, guys. These are all of the best settings. Make sure to go in the file and save. And now additionally, if you want to, you can again, right click onto your game user settings and actually now set the check under the attribute read only. And if you guys want to get lower ping in Fortnite, make sure to check out the GR booster for absolutely free with the link in the description, guys. This is also the tool which Mero, the FNCS winner is using in order to get super low ping in Fortnite. I mean, you can see guys, I have only eight milliseconds latency, which is already an improvement of 62%. The GR booster is always going to make sure to search up for the best DNS server in your near to provide you with the least amount of ping. It also has this adaptive intelligent routing, which means that every single time in the background while you're actually gaming, it's always going to make sure to connect you with the server with the least amount of delay. As mentioned, check it out with the link in the description, guys. So in today's video, guys, I'm about to show you how I can make your Fortnite look as good as mine right now here in the background, guys, and get these same colors. You can see I have really clear visuals. Like, I can see everything perfectly fine. And especially with the following colorblind settings, guys, I can spot all the enemies. First of all, of course, for display, make sure that you're playing on full screen, guys. For stretch resolutions, I made a whole entire video. Just check it out on my channel. If you are on NVIDIA or Intel HD graphics, always use the performance mode. On AMD, you gotta utilize DirectX 12, guys. It's gonna take probably like one or two games, but then the game is gonna run battery smooth. Then super important, guys, I'm actually playing right now on Tritanope set to seven. And I'm gonna give you a quick comparison right now on screen of the different colorblind modes, guys. And trust me, Tritanope set to seven looks the best, really. Then of course, 3D res on 100%, you can even go down all the way to 70% and your game is still going to look amazing. I mean, just take a look at this. We're playing on 70% and I can still see everything completely fine. So then besides that, we're gonna go back in now to 100% again. Then for the rest of the settings, guys, my viewing distance is set to near, which actually gives me around 280 to 300 meters. So I could look all the way back there, guys. That is more than enough you need for comp. Like, of course you can go a little bit higher, maybe to medium if you wanna reach like those 400 meters. But even there, you kinda chilling, textures on low, meshes on low, and super important report performance stats to disabled. Other than that, you're basically always in the background sending data to Epic Games, basically giving them benchmarks of your PC. Then for the rest, always make sure that you select your current region, guys. Don't put it in automatic because this might actually connect you with a server which is more stable but further away. The next up for movement, toggle sprint on on, auto open doors on on, mental activation hold jump, and hurdle activation to press jump. Super important. Also the preferred item slot, guys. I see way too many people who actually don't have this set up, guys. This is such an OP feature. Like for me, I have the assault rifle, shotgun, SMG, and then my consumables. Let's just say as an example that you drop somewhere and you just pick up all your stuff, you immediately know, oh, there's my SMG, oh, there's my AR, oh, there's my second AR, there's my consumables. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's just such an OP feature. Then for my actual game UI, guys, these are my HOD settings. I play on 80%. Feel free to copy them if you guys want to. I'm just gonna go through them here real quick. You can copy all of them. And also super important, guys, for audio, make sure that actually your sound quality is set to low, guys. If you have it on high, this might cause stutter. And also visualize sound effects is right now off for me, guys, because this actually is causing stutter here in chapter five. I don't know if it's just me, guys, but on my PC, whenever I have this turned on right now, I actually get a ton of stutter. So therefore I turn it off. Obviously in a couple of days or maybe like two weeks when they bring out the first few updates, you can again turn it back on because it is a really OP feature. And super important guys, under account, you actually want to scroll down and make sure to disable as many as you can from these here guys, because these are all processes running in the background, which are pretty hardware demanding. So therefore always make sure that they are turned off as much as you can. And what's also a huge point is guys, under game options, you actually want to fully disable replays if you can. And actually also under game settings guys, you want to make sure to go under replays and make sure to fully disable all of these here. This is super important. Since they are also really hardware demanding and always running actively in the background. So therefore make sure that you save these. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and check out the two videos which are right now on screen.